Bang Bang's Nature. Happy New Year! This is my first video for 2021 and I'm going to present to you uh, what what I titled this as the Forested Island. This is uh, my new 40 gallon tank and this is for a planted tank for angel fish. So I will give you a step by step tutorial especially for the new ones who would like to come up with a planted tank. Okay, so this video, uh, this tank composed of two videos. The first one will be the preparation of the whole tank, preparing the environment, which is tank preparation, hardscaping, and planting, and of course, water cycling. So this, this video is composed of, uh, again, three parts. So now let's go to the first part, which is tank preparation. Okay, so uh, okay, for the first, first section is tank preparation. So in, in preparing the tank, of course, you should have a tank. Then uh, this tank is a low iron tank with one fourth thickness. This is 90 by 40 by 40 centimeter. The volume of this is 40 gallon. Okay. Then uh, we, you sh we have a filter. This is the filter. The filter I use is a canister filter, Sunsun HW304, which is about uh, 1,000 liter per hour uh, flow. And uh, for the outflow and inflow tubes, I use uh, an aluminum tube. This one. Uh, uh, I place it in a in the corners of the tank so that the, it will have a, a nice and natural flow. The, the the water will go inside. In this tube and it will be filtered down then we're going to be flushed out in this pipe then for the light for the lighting I used uh, Margo WRGB full spectrum LED light it is a 90 centimeter extendable mount with an auto timer selection and dimmer so this is a very good light especially the, this is a high-tech tank then the, and it is important when it is a planted tank it has really a proper lighting and for the carbon dioxide injection since this is a high-tech tank we have a carbon dio dioxide injection I use the ISTA CO2 aluminum cylinder and uh, as you can see the it is already injecting uh, CO2 because CO2 will help in making our plants healthy robust and turning the uh, the plants, especially the reddish plant, into uh, into its natural color and a bright reddish color. So for now, they are still being settled. The plants are still settling because this is newly planted uh, flora. So we hope that the CO2 will help boost this plant and make it uh, beautiful uh, plants for our aquarium. Okay, now for the hardscaping, uh, the theme of our tank is, as I said, uh, forested island. So, uh, so that's why, as you can see, it's like uh, it's like a beach here, and and it's like an island, rocky island, with full of uh, vegetation. Then the substrate I used, the aqua soil I used, is uh, Amazon version two. I only use one sack or a 9 liter Amazon version to substrate. Then the rocks I use are Siriu rocks. These are Siriu rocks. Okay. Then the driftwood I, I use are spider driftwood. Then, uh, then I also place decorative pebbles black and white pebbles and a common beach sand common beach sand okay. okay let's go to the hardscaping but first I'm going to put some sticker tint a white sticker tint as a background for our tank if you want to do that you can always choose uh, different colors available there are black frosted which way you Want, depending on the design you're going to make, uh, the kind of aquascape you're going to make. Of course, we will place now the substrate. I only use one sack of a 9-liter Amazon 
soil just enough to where we're going to plant you, you, you don't need to put uh, cover all the the tank with sand depending on the style that you need to make then I place the rocks the Syria rocks to the desired design and uh, mount now the wood the spider wood and uh, in doing that it really takes you really have to put some time in your design for me it took me days just to to tweak to twist and turn all the stones and the wood just to come up with my desired design as i am going to do a uh, an island themed aquascape and of course you have to make sure that there is a good balance between the rock and the wood so that uh it will compensate the whole aquascape the whole environment of the tank that you wish to provide you have to leave enough space for the fishes to swim and and, and uh, in the ground make sure that there is enough space also for the flora that you're going to place then uh, if necessary you can glue the rocks even the wood to the rocks then uh, make sure that all the details will be presented especially uh, at the front of the viewing portion of your tank so you clean the rocks to get all the smudge because uh, it is important that the details will be shown then uh, push back all the soil to to the center and to the back then after that uh, to create the uh, beach the front beach front uh, design I put the pebbles first I use the black pebbles to create some depth around and uh, the sides of the so-called island that we are going to make this this uh, sands or the pebbles that I placed these are actually used pebbles the one from my previous tanks sometimes it is good to recycle materials from previous tanks especially the the, the sands because there are still beneficial bacteria that or and not and nutrients that will going to help stabilize the the tank especially its water temperament and uh, it will also help what uh, the cycling of the water quite fast okay and and one more important thing is that the the pebbles and the decorative sand uh, makes the soil uh, perfectly intact so that when you flood it with water the soil is not going to spread outside the from their intended uh, places the stones because it will also provide a space for my planting then then as you, as you can see to, to create an illusion of, of broadness okay to create such width in the aquarium I decided to, to make the style of my stones protruding outside or pointing outward and uh, to every corner of the tank while my while the setup of my grip woods the branches are also pointing upward but at the same time trying to point to a certain triangle or uh, angle towards this point then towards this point but, but look, uh, moving outward so Okay, so I have to flood it first 
for 24 hours to make sure to really test the, stabil the stability of the rocks and especially the driftwood. And so far so good. Then the following day, in preparation for planting, I drained it. Okay, the last part of our uh, tutorial is on the flora or planting and water cycling. So, uh, in the planting, of course, we start from the foreground and carpeting. I use Monte Carlo and HC Cuba and Dwarf Sags here. For the front and front middle ground, for the front middle ground, I use uh, the, I stick the Bucifilandra here and different kind of cryptocorins. These are uh, Balance, Albida, Wokeri, Red Gecko. We also have Spiralis, Tropica, Becchetti, Andulata, and Parva, and Wenditi Brown. I also have here the uh, Echinodorus. This is uh, some kind of an Amazon sword. And uh, Nymnophilia hyperoides here. And in, to uh, in, in due time, it will become red. Especially that there is uh, uh, good lighting and uh, CO2 injection. For the upper middle ground, for the upper middle ground, I use the Christmas moss, the weeping moss, and uh, the Java moss. So they've been uh, glued in the in, in the driftwood. For the back middle ground, for the back middle ground, uh, I have Luigia Pantanal, of course. It's now exploding. The Pantanals are already it is turning beautiful already. Then we have the Luvidia White, uh, Meriophyllum tuberculatum. We have also the Luvidia Rubin, Rotala Walichi, Rotala Red Cross, Rotala Green, Green Districta, and the Creeping Jenny here. And of course, for the background, we have the Giant Amazon Sword. This one and other Amazon swords also, the Echinodorus, which is still small but in due time will grow tall. We have also the Rotala H. H. Ra. I don't know how to pronounce it. Then, of course, the uh, Valisneria spiralis over here and here. So that composes of our uh, background. Okay. So. Okay, let's go for the planting. So usually when we plant, it's up to you. Some some aquascapers they plant first at the background, then coming down to the foreground. But what I did, I first focus on the uh, carpeting, add all this uh, MC Echicuba and some dwarf sags, then move up to the front middle ground, where uh, I place all the, the buseps and the creep the creeps, then. I move up to the upper middle ground, which is the uh, driftwood, where I stick my uh, my moss, my mosses, Christmas moss and and other moss. Then after that, by the way, in sticking, in using uh, some glue, because you can either uh, put a thread on it or glue to attach the moss in the driftwood. Uh, I suggest that you only use cyanoacrylate adhesives. This this kind of glue is really uh, not harmful to the fish and even to the plant and it really works works well okay cyanoacrylate adhesives then after that after working on the upper mill ground then you move to the back middle ground then push yourself down to the back side okay so this is it that's it then uh, this is now ready for uh, three to four weeks of water cycling before I introduce the livestock but as you can see here there are there are already green a uh, neon green denius here uh, I uh, just place it here to rescue them because I had a damage uh, damage nano tank of which I have to really get all these denius but uh, Luckily, they were the first occupant here, so it's being placed here. But still, this is still an ongoing process. 
as we go for water cycling. Now for the next part of the video, the second, the part two, which is phono live stocking, meaning we will be getting fishes. And this is for our angel fish. So I'm going to look for angel fishes, about I think three pairs here. Then add the tank mates, of course, the dinos, the tetras, and we, I also will going to provide a clean up clues. The usual, like the snails, uh, shrimps, I will also add otos and coris. So watch for that uh, next video. Uh, I hope you like it. You press like if you like it. You also uh, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And watch out, of course, for the next video because this will complete the whole uh, tutorial. Especially if you are just new to platen tags or bigger tags. So subscribe and view. Thank you. Thank you.